with Jocelyn. And we're on our second week of August. So we're gonna continue train month. And today we're gonna do a little bit of review of History of Trains. And we're gonna do it through our Richard Scarry best storybook ever book. He talks about trains as well. So it's a little bit, but we're gonna start with a story from Jocelyn's Little Golden Book Train Story Books. And we're gonna do all of them in here this month. The first one we're going to read today and this week in the featured story is Jocelyn, The Little Red Caboose. Yay! And it is by Marion Potter and it is illustrated by Tybor Gurgley. So let's get started. The little red caboose always came last, Jocelyn. Kinda looks like a face. You see two eyes and a nose. Headlights, but it really would be tail lights because it's the back of the train. And this is what you use as a brake. We'll be seeing those again. First came the big black engine, puffing and chafing. And then came the box cars. Then the oil cars, then the coal cars. We've learned about those. Do you know which is which? the oil cars and the coal cars. You see the coal on the top. Then the flat cars. Sometimes they were switched around in different ways, but the little red caboose, Jocelyn, always came last. Do you notice the tail lights and the brake, the face of the red caboose? Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to the box cars and the oil cars, Jocelyn, and the flat cars and the coal cars. And they all go clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. But by the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last, Jocelyn. Oh, smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or an oil car or a box car so the boys and girls would wave at me. How I wish I were a big black engine puffling and chuffling way up at the front of the train. <laughs> but I'm just a little old red caboose. Nobody cares for me. Oh, Jocelyn, and that's not true, right? We all have a part to play. Let's find out what the little red caboose's part is. One day, the train started up a mountain. Up went the big black engine, and up went the box cars, and up went the oil cars, and up went the coal cars, and the flat cars, and up went the little red caboose. You see, they're going up the hill. Ooh. Hang on, little tight. Little caboose called the flat car. This is a tall, long mountain and you are the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. The train went slower and slower and slower, Jocelyn. Soon it was hardly moving. It looked as if that train could not get up the mountain. It's having a little time. Do you see the face on the little red caboose? Look out, little red caboose, 
called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down this long, tall mountain, Jocelyn. Not if I can help it, said the little red caboose. And he slammed on his brakes and he held right to the tracks and he kept that train from sliding down the mountain. Do you remember where the brake is on the little red caboose? The nose. Correct. Then, bump! The little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two big black engines. They pushed the train up to the top of the mountain. So he's not last anymore, is he? Right, Jocelyn? We couldn't have done it, said the big black engines, if we had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, yay, right, Jocelyn? And the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. Now children wave at the big black engine and at all of the cars. They saved their biggest waves for the little red caboose because the little red caboose saved the train. Yay, wave at the little red caboose. Jocelyn? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do a little bit of a history review of trains and then we will see you next week for another train story so this is from the richard scary book which we've read in the past and it says this locomotive is called the puffing billy do you see it this is the puffing billy and it was made in england and the dewitt clinton we talked about that one was an early American train. You see the carriages? You remember that. And then the Lafayette was another one, another early locomotive in America. And then at the bottom later on, this type of locomotive helped to settle the American West. This is one you'll remember in the old Western movies and television shows. And this was the first locomotive to have six sets of driving wheels. And you'll notice it is the P&R, the Pennsylvania Railroad. You see Pennsylvania right there on the locomotive. And then old time trains, Jocelyn, were gladly painted. Do you see all that paint colors on these trains? It was like a circus colors. And then the dock cider is used on the docks of a busy port. That's this one right here. And then the diesel switcher is used to switch cars in the railroad yards. And that's this purple one right here. And then modern steam locomotives are being replaced by diesel and electric engines. And we got one here at the bottom. Isn't that sweet? This is a European steam engine pulling a small goods wagon right here at the top. And notice the bumpers on these trains. This is a diesel engine pulling a tank wagon. That second one right there. And then here at the bottom, the engine on the rack railway has a tooth wheel, which fits into a tooth rail. <laughs> this is how it pulls itself up steep mountains. Like just what did the little red caboose just do, Jocelyn? You see that? The diesel locomotive is used to pull either freight or passenger trains. That's what you got right here. And the electric locomotive is used around big cities where there are long tunnels and it gives off no smoke. This is something sort of like the Metro rail. 
that we have here in Houston and some of the other cities, big cities. And this passenger car has its own motor and is used for short runs. Like could be a, sort of like a, uh, a subway train. And this, and then last, this electric locomotive gets its power from the wire overhead, which is sort of also like a metro rail here at the bottom. You see that? That is interesting. So we'll talk more about more trains and stuff tomorrow. And we'll have another story that we'll be reading from Jocelyn's collection of train stories by the Little Golden Books. So I hope you'll join us next week for more train because August is our train month. So we're excited and I hope you'll join us. So have a blessed week and thank you for joining us for the Little Red Caboose. And remember, even as small and as unimportant you may think you are, we all have a part to play. God bless. Goodbye.